The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. Dow's up 37, S&P is up 10. Let's just go straight to some nitty gritties of the technical. Uh, this is Technical Friday with Chapman Wave Notations and Chapman Wave Analysis. So, my expression, a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Uh, you can see this here. Look at the E-mini. It's really been trading between 28.96 and 28.92 pretty much since uh, since 10 o'clock and it can keep doing that just you know, and the whole thing is that every time it goes to the top you think oh my goodness this is going to break out and then it turns around and then as it gets to the bottom it's oh it's going to break down nope goes right back into the range so that happens until a certain point and then when it's at the higher level of a trading range and you can see this now this whole area is in the higher area of the uh, low that was made this morning at about eight o'clock when you were at 28.84.75. So this trading band, in fact, let me just do this right now. It looks like an, R an oval pattern. Let's see if we're gonna break to the upside or just keep going like this. Um, that's the pattern that I'm looking at. The MACD is negative, stochastics negative, yet the price is holding the nine and the 14 period moving average in the 10 minute chart. The five-minute chart has pretty much the same look. This has got a, a different, it's above a trading band that's uh, formulated earlier on. It's in the upper level. What's that upper level? That's the upper level it shows you here in the two-minute chart. And the result very often, not always, but very often is that at a certain point, the longer you go without a break to the upside, at a certain point, you might just nick the upside. In fact, this is A, B, this will be C right now. You can even go to a D and just nick the upside. My evidence-based uh, uh, kind of rule of thumb, what is it called? It's called a, I kept reading that in this book, a really interesting book, uh, The Undoing Project. Uh, they called it, I'll think of it in a moment. Oh, the word just slipped my mind, four letters, five letters. I'll think of it. It's where things are like empirical, you're learning on the spot, and that's the evidence that you can use later on. Well, this is what it says, that very often the result of a very long rectangle is that you take out the low, and you take it out quite sharply, but you still might just bounce above the, the top part first, but eventually you come down, you come down quite sharply. All right, enough with that. Let's go on. Two-minute chart. We're enough to be talking about it. I was talking about crude oil just a moment ago. Look, high-level consolidation. My, my reading of this is that if crude oil can trade even for one day, close above 63.30, then the 65.09, 200-period moving average that it just plunged against, you remember that October smashed to the downside again, all the way to the December low from 76.90 to the 42.60 level on the continuous contract, that 200-period moving average when it was taken out the week of the 2nd of November, 69 high, 40.64 low, Boom, goes all the way down 24 points, and now it's coming back, and 65.09 will be your target if it can have one more bounce towards, as I say, a close. Not just a bounce, but a, a close above 63. I'd say 28, 63, somewhere around there. All right, next thing I want to look at is notation in the Chapman Wave methodology. Look, let's go through this very carefully. The Dow had a, had a high yesterday of 26,398.90. The low today was 26,393.68. So it started off with a very nice uh, kind of a slow move to the upside and then it gone a little more energy. Now it's got a plus sign, that doji candle, very small doji candle so far for the day on a Friday. I, and after four days, five days after a gap to that upside, that was a big spike to the upside on the 1st of April, taking out then the left side high of 26,241 from the 25th of February. Beautiful cup formation. 
What I am looking at here is that this should be based on the 120-minute chart. Oh, I shouldn't go to that. But let me go to this one right here because this is the one that I always notate, show my subscribers. This one here shows you that we've gone to a peak E if there's no new high in this bar, 120-minute bar, going for the next 20-something uh, minutes. Now, what's really important about this is that within the context of this pattern in the Chapman Wave methodology, a breakout in a cup and ladle, that's not a cup and handle. Cup and handle says you stop at the left side high, and then you come back and you take a little time and you make a little cup formation that looks like a handle, and then you break out. My my uh, evidence-based uh, analogy is, is that you've lost that handle takes away the momentum from the upside and that if you go further up, you come right back in and that cup and handle becomes like a cup and a double handle. So I don't like that. I love the Chapman Wave cup and ladle where it powers right through and then you start the ladle pattern and that says, yep, now you can come back and retest the low, in this case, 26,101, which you did over there, 26,138. Didn't quite get there, but that was close. And, oh, oh no, was that one? Uh, 26,122. No, it hasn't actually re retested that significantly. Now, what's really important about this is that there's just enough energy that says maybe we get a peak E in the 120-minute chart Dow, and then we pop to slightly higher for Chapman Wave 5 as well as a leg F, and that culminates this move. It's Monday, Tuesday of next week, maybe into Wednesday morning, we have a bit of a pullback, a digestive phase, and here's what I'm really looking at. If you go to the XLK, okay, this is the S&P Select Tech Spider Fund, it made a high of 78.26 three days ago. So big deal. What's that mean? Have a look at this. Have a look at this weekly chart. Look at the left side. Look at the right side. Now look at the MACD. Look at the stochastic. Stochastic is actually holding, holding way better than it did when it made the high back in November into the October high, October the week of the 5th, at 76.27. Look at this beautiful decline, 24% decline. Here's my midpoint, my plumb line. Here's the Chapman Wave inside wedge target line. And it almost went there to the, to the week. It went to 75.25, one point lower, one point and two cents lower. Last week, uh, three weeks ago, that would have been an exact plumb line, but that line is still active. It's called the Chapman Wave target, rep target uh, repellent line, this green line right here. And that means now we might have to move it a little bit, but sometimes it takes a couple of days before it actually takes it out. Well, it turns out that this week on Wednesday, yep, Wednesday, it went to 76.26. Now, what, what does that mean? It missed by one penny, hitting the previous all-time high. It missed by two pennies, making a brand new leg to the upside, a leg B, and a leg A, F slash A, in the monthly chart. Amazing. I'll be right back. That's the chart from Dow's up 38, S&P's up 11. There's a divergence there. It goes down to I'll be back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Right. The Magdi is actually just kind of good. It's not great. It's just good. Stochastic is very good at 90%, but the price action with higher highs and higher lows is extremely good. It is getting into, let me just show you something here. Let's call this green. Let's call this red. And you'll see even the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, it got into back in mid-March and then pulled back. But this time it hasn't even gotten close. Well, I should say that. It did get close. The high of uh, 76, 76.26 76, on the 3rd of April just missed hitting the pink line of 76.47. Um, all I can say is uh, this is holding very well. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're just getting to an area where you should see some pullback and that, that compartmentalization where we're looking at certain sectors. And that's what I did in my webinar. Folks, the webinar is up. I, if, you, if you're interested in my a subscription to my opening call, you'll get that webinar and you can check out any other webinar that you want. But at this particular point, that webinar is absolutely relevant to stocks and indexes and sectors that I was looking at, talking about. You can see from our portfolio that they've been active over the last few days, working really well. The other thing is that I spoke about a couple of sectors, one in particular that has been a laggard. It came on quite strong today with one of the stocks having good earnings. We'll be looking at that very closely over the weekend, and we'll probably start some positions on the next pullback there. So. Um, so the other thing I want to look at was if you are, um, I had a question about the IYT. Yeah, the IYT is a very nice. Today's at 193.67. <clears throat> we, we are along this from the 185 area. But the point here is that it's really important as far as I'm concerned, just in this particular phase right now, I want to see, regardless of what happens in the in the whole aircraft area sector, I want to see what happens to this particular um, very important index, the iShares uh, Transportation Average ETF, because if I can get some extra oomph in this and it can actually close nicely today and by Tuesday of next, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, it's getting closer Oh, it's already at the Chapman Wave uh, repellent zone right there. It can get into the Chapman Wave inside wedge target repellent zone 
into the 190, uh, say 193s now, if we can even get to 195.30, somewhere around there, about a, just, you know, a point and a half higher by Monday or Tuesday, then all of a sudden I'm looking at a target of 199, the high of 199.09 from, where was that, uh, November? Yeah, no, December, the week of the 7th. That, that ugly candle high where the transport just absolutely fell out of bed, 199 down to 155, 40 points in just three and a half weeks. So I'm looking at that and I'm saying it would be very good chart-wise because this could turn into an inverse. Now, this one I actually say is a potential inverse, inverse head and shoulders because all the action after the high that was made back in September of 2018 from the 209 0.44 and then 209.33 Chapman Wave 2 bar reversal says that th that the neck is really at 199.09 and that the target would be 209.44 uh, inverse of the head and shoulders. So that's very good. <clears throat> Zion, someone mentioned in the den, but I'm going to go to Regeneron first, also mentioned in the den, but first up. Regeneron trading at, oh, no, it's not Regeneron, it's Repligen Corporation, of course, uh, R-G-E-N, uh, trading at 57.13, up 17 cents. You know, when, once a, a chart formation is formed and you get the, the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m, that can stay there for a little while. And you can see this has a habit of making the arch formation, big spike and then an arch formation. So the high that was made back on the 4th of March at 63.41 had a low, a little doji candle low on the 7th of March at 55.62, runs up to a peak B minus because it's failing, and that becomes an arch formation. I say give it a little time. If it's on your list, if you do own it, that's fine. Uh, you probably own it from lower down. But I just say be a little careful because if it, it starts to trade at 50, under 55.80, then that 54, 55, 200 period moving average becomes a target. I think it's not going to get there. I think this is support, right? Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, if it does take out 55.80, I think it's going to test the 54, 55 here. Give it time. It needs a, it, The best case is just a chop, chop, chop. The, the best case is this scenario right here. Look, just keeps chopping around the lowercase h goes to a lowercase m, and that arch formation, look at this. It just keeps going on, testing your patience, testing your patience. Um, okay, so just be careful with this one on the shorter term. A longer term, that high in the 70s back in, I think it was November of last year, and a plunge down to the 47s, uh, it's a really nice bounce, but it's testing it. It's saying, I, I, I'm not yet ready for this bounce. I think it needs time. You want time. Let's hope that it holds the 55. It doesn't do anything off. Just It goes sideways. It just hangs around. Uh, it doesn't do very much under that. And then it has another bounce. And then within about six weeks, all of a sudden, you see it climbing to the 61, 60 area. No, 58s then the 60s, and then the 61s, and then I would say to you, you know what? This is going to look good for the end of the year, but you need patience right now. It has to hold that whole 55, 54 area. Next question is, uh, Zion, uh, well, is that a comment? One is a comment and one is a question. Wow, Zion, unbelievable. 875, up a dollar, 03, up 13%. Good eye, I quoted in the den. Um, and it's still only in leg C in the... Uh, a weekly chart, leg B in the monthly. Very nice. Uh, but you want me to do some work on uh, IIT, yeah. mm, CARA. CARA. CARA is C A R A. This is CARA Therapeutics. Oh, you're into these biotechs. Good. Um, doing nicely at 19.69. A, B, C, D. Is this stalling at this area at 19.70? C-A-R-A, -A, up 10 cents. Very nice action. I would not be surprised if, you know, in, but this time next week that we've seen it testing the 1990 area, even if it has a little pop to the 20, but it's making higher highs and higher lows. I do think it wants to come back and test these moving averages here. 
I like it. I, I don't want to tell you anything about this. If you're in it, uh, it, it, just keep it. It's a biotech. You know, biotechs can do anything. All I'm saying is it looks good. It's done well. It has a stair step move. It has a good rally, and then it takes weeks. Then it has another good rally. Look, good rally, peak A, weekly, goes from the 12 area, pops up to the 16 and a half, pulls back, then it goes to, I believe that that was a peak. Yep, uh, 17, now yeah, that's what I thought. Then it goes to B, peak B, pulls back, then it goes to and then a D, and now it's in the leg D. Yeah, it's it just very nice. Uh, would I buy, would I sell? Right now, I just wait for a pullback to the low 90s and I have to assess. I'll be back, Dow's up 34, S&P's up 10. Big divergence there. I'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. I um, had a question uh, and again about W, which is Wayfair Inc. <laughs> I showed this the other day. <clears throat> Doji Top at 173.17 on the 21st in the daily chart of March. It's pulled back a little bit. It went down to the 149. Oh, actually, that was quite a bit, 30%. Uh, sorry, $30. Uh, but now it's trading at 154.78. The monthly chart had a peak C. MACD is still strong. That, to me, is really important. Stochastic's pulled back, still good at 84%, but pulled back. And the monthly chart, I, I've got it as a peak F, but I suspect that Wayfair is in for the long haul. And this is not. This is going to be recycling. I'm even going to put it in now. I think F slash B. 
I think it's going to be going high. I think it's here to stay. Uh, I, I don't know anything about it other than what I occasionally read. But looking at the chart, I followed it for a long time. In fact, I think we even had it for a very brief moment. Did, I, did we ever have it? I've done the notation and everything. I think we had it for a brief moment, and then we got out of it. So I, I like this. Now, is it ready at this particular point to, to, to move in a cup formation? I don't think so, based on the MACD and stochastics. So I'm going to say hold off. If you're in it and you've been in it for a long time, no problem. Just keep it. It's a long-term position. But just now, would you say to me, would I buy it? Would I sell it? I would do nothing right now. I'd like to monitor it. It's on my list, uh, my, in my opening call, Trader's Corner list. At the bottom, I've got W there. As a stock, that at some point, I, I would like to own it. I don't know how we'll do it, because if we get too many, I can't get it. But at this point, I like it, but I don't want to buy it. I want a little more time holding the 145 area. Maybe if it goes over 160, I'll have to rethink it. I'm prepared to give up some points rather to have the trend confirmed with technicals to the upside, even though the weekly and the monthly are still very good. I just need time. I've got a feeling it's going to give us an opportunity to look at, and I'll, I'll mention it for subscribers. I might personally not have it in the um, opening call, but I might mention that this is a very good thing. In fact, that's what I'm going to start doing. I've had a lot of requests, but I just did the analysis, and a lot of people would do their own homework. I just don't have time to do every single thing. We even have had some options. I, I, you know, it takes time. Even the futures I do every day. So, yeah, so let me just uh, think it through over this weekend how I'm going to be very clear about certain aspects of the trader's corner and my, my opening call because people have asked me a lot of times, you don't, you don't have to actually have it, but do an analysis so that we can, we can look at it that's different to the analysis that you do in the den because it's probably going to be far more comprehensive. That's all. <clears throat> and so the next question is, <clears throat> oh, you went li along... Live in the day. Oh, that's right. I remember you. I remember seeing that. So yeah. So this is if you are long and you're lo uh, long below 150, I would have no problem whatsoever. Just keep it. Keep a whatever your stop is. Just keep that stop. Give it a little while. Just give it another another week. I think the Dow is getting a little tired um, today. You've got CVX moving. So you have got the the oil multi multinationals. Home Depot has just had a spectacular move. I love that move. I think it's you know. For employment as it is, fabulous uh, results in the employment. I'm just looking at this and I'm saying, you know, this is this is really a golden era that we're in. People just don't look at it that way. But it is a golden era, not for everybody. It's never for everybody. It cannot be for everybody. But, you know, Home Depot goes from 215 down to 157. What was that low? 158.09. And now it's trading at 185, almost 30 points higher. Um, I like it. Oh, look, there's Wayfair. So here's the pattern that we're looking in Wayfair. You see, you come down quite sharply. You make a little H pattern. It holds very well, and then it breaks out. That's kind of what I'd be looking at. That's exactly the pattern that I'd be looking at in Wayfair. So uh, S&P in the den. Uh, here's your template that you could use. Now, I'm only talking about the pullback. From, from a low to a high, that's pulled back pretty reasonably, and now it's got the lowercase h that might turn into a cup formation. That's what you want to be looking at. Um, so, okay. Now, the other thing that I'm looking at at this particular point, oh, and a lot of questions. Here's a statement. There are two statements that I want to get to. One is, how do you explain um, that you had all these signals of the weekly chart, and the, especially in the Dow, has been so strong for so long, um, and we, as for subscribers, we've had some really good long positions, but our long position in the Dow, we did have a, a really good 40 to 60 percent gain in the uh, UDAO three times long option call that we had. But I've not been long all the way through to the top, uh, from the bottom to the top. Just missed it. And that, there's no excuse. I mean, the MAGD gave it, the stochastic gave it. All each time I was looking at it, either got away from us because you were gapping up to the upside. It was very difficult to do. I'm just looking at money management, and that every time we pull back, we just pull back briefly. Look at this, all the way from the bottom. I'll just open this up, and you can see. So I have no excuse. Um, I, I 
kept talking every single weekend when I sent out my triple, my, my, my chart with my three time parameters for the Dow daily, weekly, month, monthly. I kept saying the, the weekly is looking very good. The action is very good. Everything was there. I kept talking about it bullish. We have had no shorts on any stocks for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, I've been very positive. I have no excuse why we actually didn't put that trade in. I like to be honest about things. Um, it just helps me because then I can go on to the next thing without anything hanging over my head. My, my subscribers know that. I'm just saying, I, I don't have an excuse for it. Um, and I did expect, and my, my big mistake really was the SMHs. I, I usually don't take in the um, fundamentals and treat them with great respect because I know that over the, all the years, they've very often failed and absolutely we've got a total failure with the shipping. And even now, and I'm talking to a couple of people actually about the um, semiconductors, they're, they're still telling me orders are not there. Uh, we're not seeing an increase. Maybe we're looking out six months, maybe for the second half of the year. But at this particular point, there's still tremendous weakness in the actual fabs and, and uh, maybe some individual companies. Also, there's something coming on in China. Oh, look at this. There you are. This is the first time we're looking 2891.75 in the E-mini on the two-minute chart going straight down through the 200-period moving average, 291.25. Whoa. And the Dow's only have 15 SPs up eight. Let's see what happens here. Whoops, we just broke it. Uh, there it is. So let me finish that semiconductor. There are companies, you see, they have funding. They get government funding in, in China. And there are smaller companies that are coming on with products that are going to impact the semiconductor industry quite heavily. It might impact it because there is so much demand and they're just filling in demand. I don't know. I have no idea. It's not my area of expertise. But I am saying that I was looking at it and saying to be two points away, from an all-time high little doji candle in the SMH right now, a high today of 112.67. That's less than two points from the all-time high, 114.55. And I'm still hearing about um, the semiconductor companies. The orders are not coming in like they should. Um, there is, uh, I don't know whether they've used up inventory or not. Maybe that's the case. But look at the price. The price is no, they're wrong. They will get the orders. And there'll be some maybe regression to the mean. Maybe, yeah, it comes down to 102 as orders in the next quarter start to improve. I don't know. All I can say is a little toppy right here with the doji candle. I'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when and gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently 
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hi, folks, we're back. So, yes, that e mini just went zip all the way down to the 28. Uh, where is it right there 2890 level uh trying to rebound here and that's a peak uh, the two minute chart gave that signal the e, peak e in the five minute chart and the peak d in the uh what was it in the uh, 10 minute chart so uh and the dow went negative but the s p still up eight and as i said it was very interesting because i think that the weighting of um of Boeing is is affecting uh, yeah down 276 oh uh, Dow Dupont is down 277 oh that's also interesting uh, that was a, that, a big waiting all right so um, let's go on here what we want to be looking at is let me just get out of this I don't need it anymore that's what I wanted it for oh I wanted to show you something so to go with the uh, to go with that question that I had about um, the positioning in the, in the Dow. Um, I had a stock the other day, and I can't remember if I, I showed it, uh, I did a work on it, and I showed it. Let me just see if I did that. LPG. I love the stock. Everything about it was great. Yes, I did. I think I did this all, and I, now I don't remember if I gave it as a, a, a rec, as a stock we were looking at, LPG is the name of it i don't even know what it does uh, dorian lpg limited whatever it is you see that peak c that i've typed in over there right here i did this work i think it was last week uh, last weekend yes it was right there so we've got monday tuesday wednesday thursday so it was right yeah i saw it i think maybe sunday did something work on it on monday and i do a whole i did a whole analysis of it in chapman wave methodology and what it was, was that I did the cup formation. It was trading, I think, at 654 at the time. I'm pretty sure that's what it was, because that's where my peak C is. And I did this left side, right side price time match. And it said that by the uh, 2nd of April, it should hit this high right here of the 12th of December, eight, uh, 679. So, and then I thought, you know, risk reward, I don't really want to have subscribers because I know I have subscribers that like little fun things to do. Um, they know the risk, they know the reward, but they just say, you know what? There are some stocks that it's just great if you can get into it and it has a big move like we've had, a big moves in the options positions we've had. But I looked at it and I said, you know, I just, I can't do it right now. I love everything about it. And if I recall, it, it didn't have very heavy volume. So that was another issue. Well, look at it today. I just saw it. I, I forgot all about it. I just see it. It's on this particular list that I have. It's trading at I, I, over a dollar higher at 7.68 since we looked at it. Uh, since I looked at it, I can't remember if I, I sent it out or not. Um, it's up 46 cents. What do you do? I mean, there are. Look at this A. Look at the single leg A in the weekly chart. 
I loved everything about it. I knew I, to, to this moment, I still don't know what it is and what it does. Dorian LPG Limited, so it's obviously an, uh, maybe an English company, a foreign company, uh, trading at $7.67. LPG is a symbol. Very tough. I, I love this sort of thing because there are people that are able to, to just say, you know what, I know the risk, I know the reward, I'm going to get it. But what would have happened if the next day it kind of gapped up? It closed the day I was looking at it. I'm almost sure it was this, maybe just getting it ready for the first. So it had closed either at 6.42 or 6.54, and then it, it kind of gaps up and it's gone. That's really tough. So I, I'm, I never know quite what to do, but I did it as an analysis. You can see I did everything. Look, I did. I put the up arrow. I, I labeled the A, B, C, A, P, A, P, B, and there was my C. Tough stuff. Um, but there it is. I, I was a little surprised to see it, and that kind of fits in that category of uh, what do you do now? So exactly, that's what I spoke about in my uh, my webinar the other night. What do you do now for what you've missed? Well, you got three positions that you could take. One is you just say, you know, I missed it. My technique says I've got to wait for a pullback, and I'm waiting for a pullback. And you can look at a particular level to to pull back, maybe it's a 3%, maybe use percentages, maybe use a previous trough on the left side, and you look at it and you say, where could I get it? Let's just take any old stock. Let's just take, eh, let's take Federal Express. I haven't seen what it's doing today. Um, all right, there it is. It's trading at, I'm not wrong, wrong chart right here. It's trading at, there it is. So it's trading at in leg E. Uh, here's a good example. Leg E, it's above the previous high of peak F on, on the 13th of February at 187.04. It, it dropped down to the 167.61 level on the 8th of March. And now it's, it's at a real quick turnaround, a nice cup formation. Look at this cup formation right there to right there. Beautiful breakout. This is a cup. Chapman wave cup and ladle breakout, which always goes to at least a D or an E, and then you've got to assess, and sometimes it has an instant restart at that E. It could be E to A, and you say, oh, E. Look at that weekly chart with a 195, 200-period moving average. Well, you can do two things. I'm sorry, you can do three things. One is you can look at it and say, you know, I don't buy things like this. Even though it's broken out and that's very good, I'm just going to have to wait for a pullback, and you can make a, a level the previous peak, you can say if it goes underneath the previous peak of 187.04 from the 13th, that's uh, that's two and a half points or so, I, I'll start looking at it again to get in. Or you say, you know what, this is on fire. This is moving. It was an absolute, look at the monthly chart. It goes from the 278-ish area down to the most recent low, uh, 147, uh, 150. And now it's trading 189, up 39. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, up 39 from the low. What can I do? So you say, you know what? I'm going to buy some right here. And I will end. And now you can use the what you were doing before. You can use that as an, a little bit here maybe because it's extended. But you can say, I want, I'm putting in a bid. At 184, that means my stop has to be over five points for this. And then you have to put a stop in. And that's the way, that's your plan. It's not like you, you, you're going to be buying down. You're going to be cost averaging. No, your plan is to buy a little here and then add to it later. And you can even have a third position if you really love it, but that's something else. Or you know what you do? You say, you know what? At 189, it looks fantastic. Any pullback towards the 187 level, I'm buying the 190 call. Look, you've just covered yourself. If you're wrong, you know exactly where you're lost. You know exactly what your stop is. And that's the best way to do it. Um, and I've tried to do that as much as I can. It doesn't always work out, but that's that's a plan. I like that kind of plan. All right, next thing, Bells, if you have time, advanced micro. Yep, I did want to look at advanced micro devices because Intel and advanced micro kind of led this move to the upside. Uh, weekly chart in advanced micro is in leg E at 30. It's at 29 right now. Hit 29.69. Two days ago, it hit 29.95. So this is A, B, it's in leg C, uh, peak C. It looks very strong. MACD is at 82%. I prefer if it was at 90, but it is at 82%. Sorry, the stochastic and the MACD is very good. I like this very much. And what I am going to say is 
uh, what, what, if you have time, could you look at advanced market advice? I have daily peaks here. Yes, JB in the den. So this is a brand new buy that was an inverted hat. That one right there. That's your second sell signal. And here comes a buy. This is a buy mode daily, a buy mode weekly, and the monthly is actually reverting to a buy signal that could very well become a buy mode. Advanced Micro is doing very well. I'll be right back. That was up 15 S&Ps up. I'm Nine. certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So a couple of quick things before we wrap up for the for the weekend, and I'll see you all Monday. Check out my opening call. Don't forget to become a subscriber. You also get my webinar. I think it's a very important webinar for me. Look at Intel. Look at this left side, right side, price side. It's got one more week to go before it uh, tries to get to 5760. It's at 55. 33. I don't know if it can do that. It looks to me like it's making a peak D right here in the daily uh, in, uh, advanced micro devices. It also needs just one more little pop. And then I think they take a bit of a breather. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know how long the breather will be. Uh, but look at this. This is this is the reason why the SMHs are doing so well. Intel, very powerful. It was almost at its all-time high, 5760, back in June of last year. Uh, very nice. Look at this beautiful left side, right side price time match. Look at the Chapman Wave inside wedge. So I was asked, the comment came here. Uh, where did it go? CNBC takeover of Fed Reserve. Larry Kudlow, Steve Moore. Whoops, I remember last name. Steve Moore, what is it else to say? Uh, of old Larry Kudlow show. Trump, The Apprentice. Oh, I never thought of that. Um, directing Fed. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I've mentioned this. Last year, I mentioned this over the years, 
that I, I got very upset because Moore wrote this book and he just like a, like a parrot, he kept repeating over and over and over all the negatives through the Obama years, but he never ever spoke about that. The market was coming back. This was his, his, his uh, um, forte. I mean, this was economy, economy, right? He never spoke about the positives. It upset me. Yep, I understand the negatives and he did that very well, but he never spoke about the positive. And now he's going to go to the Fed. Not good. Remember about uh, two months ago, I said, uh, my, my theory has always been that Republicans resign and uh, Democrats stay. Uh, what happened in Virginia, right? I mean, we just see this over and over. That was, that was just a commentary on observation. It wasn't a political commentary. It happens to involve politics. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying this is going to be one of the most fascinating periods we've had for ages. I mean, this is, uh, I'll talk a little more next week about it, but in the meantime, I've got for subscribers, I'm going to show you a skyscraper uh, coming up in where? In a place that you wouldn't even think of it as skyscraper. Denmark. I'm pretty sure it was Denmark. Was it Denmark? Uh, there's nothing there. Then suddenly there's a skyscraper. This is the era of skyscrapers. Have a great weekend. Check out my opening call. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you back here on Monday. Stay tuned for Steve, Dave, and Tom. Have a great weekend.